Hey everybody. So, at first glance, you might think this is a Schlage uh, classic cylinder, but if we look at the face of it, it's not. This is actually an Everest cylinder, and this little undercut in the warding uh, is very, very important. It's actually uh, the Everest special feature, because in, in that undercut, there's a little finger uh, attached to this check pin, so that when the correct type of key is inserted, that pin gets lifted out of the way and allows the plug to turn. If that uh, pin isn't there, even without, even with all the all six of the standard pins set, this plug can't turn. Now, a couple different ways to deal with it: you can take a tool like a half diamond or a small hook, stick it. Uh, into that undercut in the warding, feel around until you find the check pin and work your way under the finger and just lift it out of the way. There we go. Uh, another way is if you can get access to one of the keys, you can just cut it down until there's nothing but that little lip. Uh, but Peterson has a special tool, a uh, special tension tool that acts as both a tension tool and disables the check pin that long finger reaches under there and lifts the check pin out of the way. Now tensions are very, very, uh, tolerances in these are really pretty tight compared to Schlage's normal uh, residential offerings, so we have to be very careful with tension and feedback is uh, a real big issue with these. So let's get this in the vise. We're going to use a slim uh, hook. I'm going to reach in there and see what we can find. I'm going to start at the back and work our way forward. Okay, a couple little clicks that might have been Pin six setting. Okay, now we've got the five binding. Okay, number one is set. I think number two is binding. That's number two set. Number three. No. Number four. Okay, now number three binding. And open. So, let's. Okay, we're only at three minutes, so let's see if we can get this guy open. Get this uh, pinning tray out here. Uh, right. Screwdriver. Don't want to lose those small parts. Now, when you're disassembling these, you have to be careful because that uh, check pin is spring loaded. So, let's get that. Uh, tool back in there. Make sure it doesn't go flying out. Right, so okay, that's the check pin. And pin one, pin two, three, four, five. Six, all standard and a pretty good mix of sort of high and low cuts. Now, let's uh, go through here. Standard and standard. St standard. Standard, standard, and standard. 
right. So this thing has nothing but standard pins in it, and that's probably because that check pin does kind of ruin the way that most uh, security pins work. Hopefully, uh, that's pretty clear. And there's, you can see the finger pin. Let's uh, get that out. A nice close up of that. Hopefully. And so that little finger is what's actually engaging with that side cut or with your uh, special tension tool or pick. Uh, so that's it. You know, it's a tricky pick, but. It can be done. So, until next time, everyone, have fun and happy picking.